I always find myself facing a tough decision. Do I buy technology that looks great, but is restrictive in what it can do, or something that has all the features and has bad design? The new EcoBee Thermostat Premium is the exception to that dilemma because it has all the extra functionality EcoBee thermostats are known for, plus a new design and UI that are major improvements over the previous generation. And to top it all off, they added some brand new features that I think you're gonna like. This video is sponsored by EcoBee, and before making this video, I was already using three EcoBee thermostats in my house. All of them I purchased with my own money because I personally prefer EcoBee thermostats. The reason why is that I live here in Arizona and we have some extremely hot weather here. And I can really dial in the EcoBee thermostat so I can stay cool and save on my energy bill. So that's why I agreed to the sponsorship because I was already using them, but also because this EcoBee thermostat premium is pretty sweet and I've been really excited to show you guys. So when it comes to the design, the first thing that you'll notice is the metal body going all the way around. It's actually made of zinc and does a good job at hiding fingerprints if someone touches the side while using it. The previous EcoBee thermostat was just using some plastic on the outside, which I never had a problem with, but if your thermostat is hanging on the wall in a main area of your house, like ours is right next to the kitchen, you want it to look good on your wall and not be an eyesore. I might not be the best judge of what looks good on the wall. If it was up to me, I'd be covering our walls with screens and tech. Luckily, Allie keeps me from going overboard and she approves of how this new EcoBee thermostat premium looks. I like it. Installing the thermostat was really easy and straightforward. And I thought that building a new house would mean that I would have an unblemished spot right there on the wall behind the thermostat. Well, apparently I have some pretty lofty dreams. Luckily, EcoBee includes the large trim plate to cover it all up. Attach it with the two included screws, connect the wires, snap on the thermostat, and it was up and running in no time. Once the thermostat is on, you realize how much bigger the display is. It's actually 50% larger than the previous version. Having a bigger display to see across the room is nice, but where this really makes a difference is the touchscreen. The buttons and everything are more spaced out, so it was much easier to select what you want without accidentally hitting something else. And the display feels a little more responsive. The surface is made out of glass, and this could be in my head, but it feels smoother than the EcoBee with voice control, which also was made out of glass, but this new one, it feels more like the glass on a smartphone. It just makes it so much easier to scroll through the menus with the touchscreen. But the physical design isn't the only thing that got some upgrades. The UI did as well. EcoBee's previous interface has always been slightly confusing for me. For example, if I want to get to the settings, do I click on the three lines or the cog icon? Settings would be the cog, right? Uh, nope. Basically, the old design wasn't bad, but sometimes I would have to click around till I found what I was looking for. On the new design, they move the buttons up and remove the one that looks like a settings button. The menu button pulls up a view that's a lot more intuitive. You can quickly change the system to heat, cool, or auto, or the comfort settings are right there, and what equipment, like the fan, is running right now. Now if you hit the cog gear button, it does what you would expect and shows more preferences you can configure. The other thing that got an update was adjusting the temperature. The old way was dragging that number up or down. I don't know if it was just me, but I feel like it would either move one degree or like 10 at a time. Now you can just tap on the temperature and move it with a plus or minus. It's much easier. What's cool is that all these design changes are updated in the app for the new thermostat as well. That way when you go back and forth between the thermostat and the app, it feels the same. Also, you probably noticed the big blue outline around the display to show that the AC is running. That's convenient to see if the system is running from across the room. I'm glad EcoBee updated their interface because that was one of my main hesitations in recommending EcoBee to others in the past. But now that they've made it easier to use, I can feel comfortable recommending it to those that are not the most tech savvy. So there's also a couple of new sensors that this EcoBee Thermostat Premium has over the previous generations. First is the air monitoring sensor. That's right. There's an air monitoring sensor built right into the thermostat. There used to be an option for a third-party subscription for air quality monitoring, but now you do not need a subscription because it's all built in. 
It can let you know if your CO2 levels are too high or other pollutants in the air due to things like cooking. Whoa, is the house on fire? Uh, no, I was just making some toast. Ugh, how do you eat that? Oh, come on, at least mine's not just warmed up bread. All right, guys, help us settle this debate. Pick one to five what number you prefer. The air quality monitor took some time to calibrate, but after a few days, I decided to jumpstart it. So I just opened a bottle of rubbing alcohol under it and it immediately said my air quality was poor. Even the toast made it change. After fanning out the air, the sensor went back to clean. So this will let you know if you need to open up some windows and get some fresh air in your house. There's also a new radar chip in this thermostat. This will allow it to detect occupancy through doors, glass, around corners, and has a 180 degree view of where it can detect. And this is all because it's using the new radar sensing technology. Also, in the old one, there was this little piece of plastic on the front for occupancy detection. Now it's underneath the glass, so it looks much better. I love this clean design. From the testing I've been able to do, it seems pretty accurate. I can be across the kitchen looking at the side of the thermostat, and it knows that someone is there. And it's not too sensitive because it can sense when no one is around. You can also use Ecobee's smart sensors to help detect occupancy. A smart sensor is included with this new thermostat, and I have these things sitting on shelves all around my house. I love that they can average the temperature of multiple rooms or even base it off which rooms are being occupied to keep you more comfortable. The sensors can also help you save energy. In the Ecobee app, you can use Eco Plus, which includes several features like Smart Home and Away. That uses both these sensors and the radar sensor in the new thermostat to help determine if the system should be in Away mode. Your HVAC system is almost always the main culprit in high energy bills. Since I can measure my energy usage in real time, it's crazy to see what happens when my air conditioning turns on. My energy usage basically quadruples. So being able to run the heating or cooling less when no one is home can be more eco-friendly and save a lot of money. There's also some more features you can turn on like adjusting for the thermostat's humidity and time of use. If you work from home or don't leave your house that often, the time of use plan can be a great way to save money as well. We did that for years and we saved so much on our power bill. Another option is to set this up yourself using the comfort settings and schedule. This is what I'm doing, especially now with solar panels. I can fine tune it to run the AC more when the sun is out and run less when it's peak pricing in the evening with no sun. The Ecobee Thermostat Premium is also compatible with the smart sensor for doors and windows. This detects motion and entry, basically turning your smart thermostat into a hub for smart security. What's cool is that if you install these on your doors and windows, the smart sensors will actually signal your thermostat to pause the heating and cooling when a door or window is left open to help save energy. The smart thermostat premium also has Siri and the Amazon Assistant built in. There's a speaker on the back and you don't have to enable it if you don't want to. It could come in handy though to have a voice assistant somewhere like a hallway where you normally wouldn't have a smart speaker, especially since you can use the drop-in feature on the thermostat with other Amazon Echo devices. The first person to bring me a drink from the refrigerator gets a prize. Ecobee thermostats are compatible with most smart home systems out there. So if you ever end up buying or switching smart home hubs in the future, it's more than likely Ecobee will work with it. So I know I've talked a lot about the design of the Ecobee Thermostat Premium, but what makes this thermostat really good is all the settings that can be fine-tuned. For example, I like to make my temperature swing two degrees to make my heating and cooling run less frequently. And that puts less wear and tear on the system. I haven't used any other smart thermostats where I can make those adjustments, and I love I have that option. Ecobee also provides a lot of data using Home IQ. I find the graphs really helpful by showing me where I might be using more energy than I realized. So what makes this new Ecobee Thermostat Premium unique is that it has all of those advanced features packed into this beautiful new design. It's basically the best of both worlds when it comes to looks and functionality. With Ecobee Smart Thermostat Premium, saving energy is just the beginning. The thing I like best and something I did not expect is the new UI. Having a bigger display and an interface that's easier for my family to use has been great. This thermostat is available now for $249, and I'll have links below so you can check it out. Thanks for watching. Your toast isn't even edible. What? Says who? Uh, how about the air quality monitor? It's dangerous. Eh.
That wouldn't know what tastes good. Let's see if Luna will even eat your toast. Luna, come on, eat the toast. See, 